So, um, okay, let me uh, do this. Ponce de la Fone was up to some of his old tricks. You know, he's the guy who makes phony phone calls. He makes great phony phone calls. Uh, first thing he did was he called, um, called the, uh, Ricky Rackman show. Mm-hmm. You know, I just, you know, it's not, I don't have anything against Howard Stern. Occasionally, he, I'd be listening to him and he says some cool stuff. He's funny. But, you know, at that time, he, he thought it was time to make fun of us and it wasn't cool, you know. So I, did, I just turned down his, you know, chance. Turned. Matter of fact, he got a couple of my buddies on his show working with him, so... But you know, I ain't I don't exactly. get down like that. If you if you don't like me, then you can't turn around and be like, okay, I was, you know, I ain't with it. Ben from Alhambra, you're on Real Radio 97.1. How, how do you feel about religious services and uh, my dad. why children should attend them? As far as religious ser services, I'm not really into religion personally. Uh, <laughs> That's my dad. That's a tape of my dad. I didn't know that. Did you know that was on there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. I was. I, I didn't know that. Ponce had himself on one line, and then he was on the next line. I guess. It was your dad. Yeah. <laughs> I believe in, you know, you reap what you sow. I'm into karma. Hmm. Cool. My dad was on there. Go ahead. I want to set up the next phone call. So I guess we had an intern on the show once. I don't even remember this, but the guy said he wanted to be in radio, and you were teaching him how to take a phone call if somebody called in wanting to commit suicide. Right. So Ponce took your tape of a suicidal person and made a call to a radio show of you wanting to commit suicide. Oh, good. So this is me calling in to commit suicide. To commit suicide. Yeah, it's really Got it. good. Oh, Interesting. To another show. Right. Oh, this is wonderful. <laughs> Hello, Al. I'm sorry to keep you waiting, but thank you for your patience. Listen. Yes. I'm here. Oh, good. And I'm about to take. I'm about to take a gun and shoot my whole family and shoot myself in the head. Well, but I don't think that's quite the answer. You don't, you want you gonna just hang up on me? No, I'm not. I know. I, I said I don't think that's the answer. Let's figure. Let's think if we can find a better one. How's that? What's got you so upset? I'm about to shoot my whole family. I'm gonna shoot myself in the head. Baba Bowie. Baba Bowie. Uh... Well. Well, yes, I'm going to hang up on you because I don't like games playing, for God's sake. We're talking serious. We're talking situations. He, 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 meanwhile, the host was pretty lame. I mean, the guy's... Yeah, were... I would have killed myself, too, if yeah. I'd been dealing with that guy. You want to solve a problem? <laughs> solve a problem? Go ahead. We'll I ain't calling you. Silly. Only because I ain't blowing your brains out and shooting your family certainly isn't the answer to anything. No? See, when somebody wants to shoot... I don't know about that. <laughs> uh, after this weekend? <laughs> yeah. I could say that that would really solve a lot of problems. All right. Family and then themselves. They're blaming everybody else but themselves for their situations. There right. you go. If that were the case, we'd all wind up victims. We'd all wind up in a terrible situation where we didn't know what was going on. We didn't really... <laughs> Have a situation. Maybe that guy's nuts. Maybe he's going to do it. We can't stop people from craziness. What in the world is he talking about? I don't about? know. He's scarier than Tom Snyder. What is he talking about? When the other I guy. I'm going to hear that again. <sighs> Let me hear the next one first. All right. Okay, this is a very moody Robin Quivers calling a, a talk show. Oh. He, he got a tape of Robin? Yeah, she's moody. And what kind of talk moody? show? When did uh, that it's a, happen? It's a black host. All right. Okay, we got Robin in Pasadena, Charter Cable. Hey, Robin. Hi there, how are you? Hi, we get very few calls from Pasadena. I used to live out there. I love you. Oh, you really love the shadow, Robin? That's a beautiful thing. But my fiancé is sitting right across from me. Don't stonewall me. <laughs> okay, let's... Who are you? Who cares if I like you? Let's play with this one. So, what else you got to say, Robin? Douchebag says what? <laughs> um, we got Kevin in... <laughs> That's pretty good. Douchebag says what? <laughs> <laughs> who has their fiance sitting right alongside them while they do a show? My name's a your guy. <laughs> yeah. The guy who knows you're not marrying him for him. Oh, man. Yeah, my wife really gets off on watching me do my show. Got to bring her to work to remind her why she married me. Yeah. You constantly remind how great you are. <laughs> okay, we got Robin in Pasadena, Charter Cable. Hey, Robin. Hi there. How are you? Hi. We get very few calls from Pasadena. I used to live out there. I love you. Oh, you really love the shadow, Robin? That's a beautiful thing. But my fiance is sitting right across from me. Don't stonewall me. Okay, let's... Who are you? Who cares if I like you? Let's play with this one. So, what else you got to say, Robin? Douchebag says what? <laughs> um, we got Kevin in... <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Play that guy's funny, huh? I tell you. Does he have 10 million tape recorders? I don't know. I don't know how he does it. Oh, it's great.